Hey guys, well as promised, here is the fun stuff. Pastor Brian and I have put together a few resources that you guys can use at home to dig a little bit deeper into today's Bible story. You can find these resources at the link below in the description. Um, when you click on that link, you, it will take you to a file and you wanna go to the kindergarten through fifth grade um, resources folder. And in that folder, you will find two things. First thing you'll find is something called a God Time Devotional. And that is simply a four-day devotional that follows this story that we shared today. And it encourages your kids to read the scriptures and to do some small activities. But basically, we're, they're thinking a little bit deeper, a little bit further um, than just today's story. They're trying to apply it to their life. And so that's something your kids can do on their own or you could do it with them. Then the next packet is a list of activities and the first thing in that, ac that activity list is the Parent Q card. Now you can also download a Parent Q app which will give you the same information but we went ahead and included it in this packet just because we can. And in this Parent Q it gives you a few things to do and that you can kind of start thinking a little bit uh, more critically about today's story. So the first page is the parent queue. The second activity is called In the Garden. And this is a chance for you to take today's Bible story and read it with your kids. And um, there's an activity page that kind of walks you through the process. Uh, but basically, you're going to reenact the story. And you're going to video it. And then you're going to send me um, a video, or you're going to send Pastor Brian a video. Um, uh, you can send a video to me at Carl V at Calvary.online, and you can send one to Brian at his email. See, the second activity is called Not My Will, and it's basically a version of Simon Says. And, but instead of saying um, Simon Says, you just give a command, whoever the leading, leading the activity, and everybody else says, Not My Will, uh, but Your Will Be Done as they do the activity. If they don't say that, they're, they're out of there. Uh, so, but it's just a chance for them to, to get on their lips the words that Jesus said over and over, not my will, but your will be done, which is basically the heart of humility. It's not about me, it's about you. And the third activity is a really fun uh, page. It's, it's called the Upside Down um, Activity Page. There's a number of ways you could do this. You could just do day by day, or you could take some dice, you can roll it, and land on something and then that's what um, you have to do that day. Um, so some flexibility with this one, um, but this is in that packet as well. And so to sum it all up, these are some activities that will help you dig a little bit deeper uh, and also give your kids something to do, uh, maybe today or throughout this week, to keep themselves focused on humility. And ultimately, at the end of the day, um, at the end of all these um, activities, we want you guys to understand what the Holy Spirit is trying to speak to you about. And so I want you to, before you go into these activities, um, I want you to ask um, one another, what is the Holy Spirit speaking to you about? How is the Holy Spirit wanting you to show humility? And through these activities, um, parents, you'll have a chance to make it personal. Uh, share some personal testimonies of, of what it was like when you put someone else first. Or maybe the opposite, when you realized you should have put someone else first, but you didn't. And like, what happened? Um, this is a moment where faith can be imparted, where your kids can see um, what faith looks like, what humility looks like in your life. And so, thanks for watching. And um, again, the link you'll need is down below. Uh, thank you so much. God bless you. We're praying for you. We'll see you soon.